Friday, October 27th. It's not Halloween yet, but I feel strange things. We have a huge week next week, which is going to be uh, 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 earthquake scale. Uh, we are going to get a new Fed chairman, uh, or at least we are promised to have one before the 3rd of November when Trump leaves for Asia. That would be next week. Next week we are also going to get the Republicans' outline of uh, 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 tax reform and tax cuts. We know that they are in the wind, they've been working on them for months, and we don't know what the shape is going to be, but we're going to know next week. Also, in the first week of every month, we get the f most fresh data from the immediately prior month. So next week on Friday, we're going to get the change in payrolls throughout the economy next Friday. Uh, we're going to get some other data on overall economic activity. It's still going to be uh, muddled by the hurricanes, but less so with each succeeding month. This week, um, there's been a key level in interest rates that has held all the way back to springtime. Mortgage rates move with the 10-year U.S. Treasury note. They don't move with bank decisions. They don't move with all kinds of things that lenders tend to say that they do, but mechanically with the 10-year T-note. 10-year T-note went up to 240. It came back down. Went up to 240. It came back down. And in the last few weeks, it's been headed back up to 240. And on Tuesday, rose above it, which should have produced a kind of a volcano. The up to these two 260 marks, 2.60, right after the election a year ago. And taking out 240 should mean we should head straight up to these guys. And rather more unsettling, if we take these two guys out, the next spot of yields as high as these or higher is clear back in 2013 and would take mortgages up nearly to five. The strange thing that developed this week is we rose up to 240 and then stopped. And um, the that 240 level, it's amazing that we made it to 246 and it started to come back down. And today, the mechanism that took us back down was a, a leak or a rumor. We don't know if it's a fact. Uh, Mr. Trump has been known to change his mind from time to time. And so even if it is an accurate rumor, we don't know if it will hold until tomorrow or Monday. But the thought was that, uh, that Jay Powell, Jerome Powell, presently on the Board of Governors of the Fed, will be the new Fed chairman. And if he's the one who's appointed, markets are going to react almost as favorably as they would uh, if Mrs. Yellen is reappointed. And I suspect there's still a chance of that. The two bad guys that have been under consideration are named Warsh, W-A-R-S-H, and Taylor. And I, I don't have anything charitable to say about either one of them. They, uh, uh, they've campaigned for the job. They fought against Bernanke while he was trying to save us all in 2008 and 2009. And every one of the markets hopes that it's not one of those guys. If it is one of those guys, together with all the other news that's going to come out next week, uh, when you are in the process of losing your shirt on Wall Street, your broker calls to say that markets are volatile. Well, volatility is this way and uh, we're going to get some volatility next week and I think rates are going to rise. E even though we held sort of at 240 at the end of this week, mortgage is just above four, uh, it's, e e e we're going to go higher. But happy Halloween anyway. Thank you.